solve 3n to the negative second minus 19n to the negative first plus 20 is equal to 0. All right, uh, this looks quadratic in form, but it's not a quadratic equation because we have the wrong exponents here. So let's make a substitution. I'm going to say let u equal n to the negative first. Now if u is n to the negative first, then u squared would be n to the negative first squared. And when you raise a power to a power, you multiply exponents, and that's n to the negative second. So this is a good thing, because now I can replace the n to the negative second. So I can then write 3u squared minus 19u plus 20 is equal to 0. And now I just have to solve this equation. Um, I'm not sure that this will factor, so I'm going to use the quadratic formula on u. So then u would equal 19 plus or minus the square root of 19 squared, that's 381, minus 4 times 3 times 20, that's 12 times 20, that's 240 over 6. So u would equal 19 plus or minus the square root of, oh, what is that? That's 141. Something's not right here. Nineteen squared is three hundred sixty-one. So then we have the square root of one twenty-one there and over six. So that's nineteen plus or minus eleven over six. So then u would equal nineteen minus eleven over six. That's eight over six, that's four thirds. U would equal nineteen plus eleven over six. That's 30 over 6, uh, so that is, that's 5. All right, but remember, we're not done. We made a substitution. We needed to solve for n. So if u is 4 thirds, that means that n to the negative first is 4 thirds. Well, that's the same as saying the reciprocal of n is 4 thirds, so then n would be 3 fourths. Similarly, we have n to the negative first is 5, which means that the reciprocal of n is 5, so that means that n is 1 fifth.